Now look, that vein we saw outside is here. A huge vein is going around inside. It comes like this, twists from here turn from here, and come back again. Let me look here now. Here it goes again, around the testis. Around the testis, that is a huge vein. You can't leave this vein here. If we measure the widest diameter, they've already done the test well. It was made by lying. Yes. Despite that, they measured that it went up to 5 millimeters. I actually see 5 millimeters right now. So it doesn't matter if you're standing up, because you have big vein. Despite that, they measured that it went up to 5 millimeters. I actually see 5 millimeters right now. So it doesn't matter if you're standing up, because you have big vein. Naturally, patients are very obsessed with this standing and lying story. We say too. It is especially important in the veins that are in between. But yours is a very obvious vein. I'm looking at its reflux now. When I press on the colored Doppler, you can see that this place is full of reflux even before I say strain or something. Colorful. This is already very clear. A varicose vein that needs surgery. The saddest part here is that you've already had surgery. If that vein had been removed, no more surgery would be needed. Doesn't normal varicocele surgery recur even if this vein is not present? There are those who do. We also have recurred patients. After that, this is one of the patients we can do the easiest, with the best results. It's a huge vein. Let's have a look. When you strain while standing, the size does not change much. It's already swollen. Huge vein. And the reason I called you here on the Doppler is before the surgery. Yes, we're measuring 4.6 right now. So it's a big vein. How many arteries are there? I'm looking for that. Because, first of all, it is necessary to say this firstly during the operation. Our friend who performed the old surgery did not cut the artery. Because blood is still flowing here. After that, there was no problem in the blood supply to the testis. It's a beautiful thing. We'll now see how many arteries we can find. There is a great artery. Look, arteries are very thin compared to veins. Especially in colorless mode, it is so thin that it is impossible to see it. Collective veins were thick, we just saw. The arteries are thin. That's why we use a microscope. Even that is not enough. There is a device we call the sound making microvascular Doppler. We use it. Now you have a main artery. Other than that, I look to see if there are any more arteries. But the veins are so dense that it is not possible to get an image between them. I will now check them all one by one. By accepting it as if there were two or three veins. We will check them all one by one. Yes, I see that it is at least split into two, making a branch here. There. We will see these by looking carefully. Yes, the veins are so dense that I look at them in a sound mode not to confuse whether it is an artery or a vein. Okay, 